Well, you can tell what kind of evening you had by what you're wearing when you wake. It's a, it's a really handy little known tip. And sometimes I find that I've slept on the sofa. I'm sort of hanging off the sofa and the light's still on. So that's pretty good. So welcome to Spit or Swallow, the Come Wine With Me Wind Guru Masterclass. Um, I'm going to tell it how it is, okay? Rather than how it should be, like we did last week. So let's dispel a few myths from last week. Uh, last week we tried six garbage garage wines. Um, I think there was several of them were called I Love Cat's Piss. And that highly recommended Merlot went down the loo. Out of them, there was only one that's worthy, and that's your Hardy's. So I'll probably drink four or more of those a year. They're just great, you know, just washes down nicely. So it's all right. It's six or seven quid. You can't really go wrong with that one. So um, I can tell you really truthfully, everything I know in life has come from this book. It's Dale Carnegie's excellent how to wine friends and influence people. I guess, you know, when they're under the influence is kind of what it really means. Anyway, if you can get yourself a copy of that, look, you'll be able to tell how to wine your friends. So what I've done today is um, I've set myself the Herculean task of trying to find four passable wines from GB shops. So if you take nothing else out of today, Buy Club Wines. Should we do that again? Buy Club Wines. Because I really <laughs> struggled. So I've chosen two Old World and two New World. <clears throat> this one was £8 from Lidl. It's Plan de Doom. It's a room from France. And this one was £12 from Tesco's. It's a Ribera de Duo. From Spain and then we've got New World we've got um, Rustenburg that was 13 pounds from Waitrose it's a Malbec and the greatest like Penfolds Max's Cabernet Sauvignon 2019 Angus R from Australia tells me he's drinking real nice right now so I am looking forward to that I'm gonna have some duck in a bit uh, no nibbles because you know now the, the crucial thing is are wines over 10 pounds worth the money and how does this one match up at eight pounds to the ones we had last week which were all eight pounds or under um the way i see it is if you're spending less than 10 pounds you're probably buying colored dishwater so you've got two worlds. You can either go for your mass-produced coloured dishwater or your handcrafted, big effort, top grapes, you know. Now, we were using that. Don't buy that. That's rubbish. Never, ever use one of them. Absolute pants. Use this. This is a waiter's friend. Look, it's got this. And it's got this. And it's got two levers there. Oh, it's just awesome. And it will fit in your pocket. Take it around with you everywhere it's the boy the crucial thing about it is it's got a clean open screw whoa so the way i sort of see wines you know under and over 10 pounds basically it's like having a rhubarb crumble you can choose whether the rhubarb comes out of a tin or whether it's fresh from your garden they're both okay but i would always want to go for the fresh from your garden so tonight we're going to be just a little bit in a circle exclusive and we're going to start with this guy now this is a little known secret that you can buy something called Cote de Rhone but you can also buy Cote de Rhone Village and this is Plan to Dew it's God's Plain I've just ordered 12 of these from uh, you know where they come from france <laughs> you've already got this starting on the bottle so this is like your absolute lower end chateauneuf de paint um let's see if we can get this open just give your your wine bottle a little bit of love you know just just caress it a little bit you say won't you child's done with me and then we get this
Now, when you're doing these, really watch out because just a few of the French ones, especially, are made of lead and they will slice through your thumb till there's not much left of your thumb. So, do be careful with this stuff, it can really hurt you. Right, this is Lidl's, it's eight pounds, it's 14 and a half percent volume that's pretty amazing now you'll never guess what i've gone and done here i haven't got um a glass so that's really great so let's have a little look and see if we can find a glass i don't think i've got a glass so let's see if we can improvise right what's this that looks pretty foul hang on just a second while i look around and see what i can find it's typical isn't it so, oh, I'll do a wine tasting and forget to bring a glass in, never mind. So, worst things happen at sea, you know. Right, no glass, you don't really matter. Look, I've got a David Lloyd George Festinial Railway mug. And just take it from me, all these wines are red, so we don't really desperately need to know what colour they are. Now, I didn't bother much with that cork because it is actually a plastic cork, okay? But I'll be a bit classier with the next one. So we give it a good glove. Don't ever do it over your piano because you're almost certain. Oh dear, I've done a mistake there. I've put too much in and I've only got one glass. So we're going to have to find something else to put it in. Just give me a second. What's this one doing? Uh, Right, okay, so I've got a flower pot. That'll do, won't it? That'll do for the, you know, that'll be fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy yourself. So we've got a nice red wine. It smells of sort of hedgerow brambles. And we're going to taste a little bit. I've only, you know, I've never had this one before and I've just tasted it. It hasn't got a great finish, but it's a delicious wine in the mouth. It's, um, it's got, you know, like the brambles and a little bit of lavender creeping in there. And I think I could taste, it was so slightly, a little tiny bit of sage. And then there was a bit of, you know, sort of butterfly wings. Marvellous. So, plan to do, buy it. It's eight quid from Lidl. It's a decent wine. Highly recommend. You cannot go wrong with that for eight pounds. And um, I just want to say, you know, when you're drinking, don't throw the stuff down the back of your neck. It's the elixir of life. You know, or you can nick that if you want. What you want to do is to just swirl it seductively over and around your tongue and then ever so slowly let it drain down the back of your neck so just pop them that in there just again i say don't do it on your piano because you know wine you don't want to be doing it right so we've got this one back now we've got the ribera so this was the best one that tesco's had in spanish i really really wanted a fire rat but you don't always get what you want in life so you have to make do and then now I haven't opened these in the easiest possible manner. Ooh. But I, it is a good thing to get rid of as much of this as you can from around the cork. And I think we've got an actual cork this time. So uh, we've got 14.5% again. So these are well matched old world wines from France and now Spain. Um, grapes, you've probably got Shiraz, Grenache in that one. And um, I expect if I read the back of the label, I could find out what's in this one. But it's Saturday night, so really, what do I care? Now, with the cork, look, you can. Oh, oh wow, this one's different. You can let it pop like I did last time, or you do what they do in the industry. They want the sound, the sigh, 
of a satisfied woman. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, la. I don't think she was that satisfied, do you? I'm not going to smell anything from the bottle, just glug it in your uh, nice crystal glass like mine. Oh, this one's wow, 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 wow. It looks like uh, damson. Wow, it's a really nice red. Shame I can't show you, but it will fall on the piano. Yeah, it's got some fantastic oak in there, so I'm guessing it's um, barreled. I haven't looked on the, the labels, but I'll tell you what they are and I'll detail it all in the description. Oh, that's fantastic. That's got, um, yeah, it's 2018, so it's another two years. That was a 20. Uh, it's, it's obviously had, you know, a good six months at least in the barrel. You're tasting some oak in there, but it is well integrated. Very nice balance. What I would say is if you like Spanish wine, definitely go for that one. Very, very nice. I uh, would want more of a beef casserole. This would just slosh down with anything, you know, fish and chips, be fine. Yeah, this one's a real nice wine. It's got some spice in there. Um, definitely damson, a bit of red currant, a bit of raspberry. There's a lot of fruitiness and a good balance of oak as well. So don't ever do that over your piano, remember, because, you know, it's just going to go everywhere. Right, excellent. They're both really good. Sorry, I'm just rushing through, but I know you're going to taste yourself and then you can tell me how nice they were. Oh, we don't need that one this time. So we've got South Africa. <clears throat> it's um, a screw cat. Now, this one I've bought many times before. If you want to buy wine for £13, 2020, and it's 14%, you cannot go wrong with this one. Rustenburg, Stellenbosch, Malbec. Boy, if I had to say which was my favourite shop wine in Britain, it's this one. Okay, now, I haven't done a great job here because, you know, obviously I've got a bit of wine from the other, but to be fair, I don't spend a lot of time doing all the wine tasting stuff. I just want to um, <coughs> swirl it seductively around my tongue. Well, right, let's have a look at this. Oh, immediately you've got this fantastic quality nose. It's just absolutely wow. It's a bit of um, camera box in there. You know, one of those old cameras you find in the back of the wardrobe. Um, yeah, there's definitely a bit of black pepper. And um, four, you know, really dark bramble fruits. I don't want to swear, but honestly, that is ruddy lovely. Yeah, there's definitely one you're going to want to swirl seductively around and over your tongue. So, if you're not sure, £13, Waitrose, just buy it. Buy loads of them. I reckon you have been buying loads of them, because I can never find them when I go in. Okay, so, last but not least... We've got Penfolds. Now, this is a bit of a treat because this is £20. You could buy it in Tesco's or Sainsbury's easily. And, you know, Penfolds is like the hallowed name of New World Wine. I just I just want to, I want to actually feel that bottle. It's fun. Just, just a thought of this bottle before I even open it. It's very exciting. So, let's get here. Let's see if we can do this seductive... Um, Satisfied woman again. This one could be a nasty. Um, just you've got to be really careful not to rip your skin on these things. You know, don't open them quick like me, just take your time. Actually, I'm, I, it's almost so sacred to open a pen fold, so I'm just going to play a scale on the piano. <laughs> oh. 
just the, the majesty of this bottle is so good. So if you want something that's going to really impress absolutely everybody you know, go and buy yourself a Penfolds Maxis because for 20 quid you're getting the best value you can in Britain and you've got no worries. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, I can't wait to get into you. Come on. Come on, just open up for me. Oh. Now this is a good case of more speed, less hurry, or less smell, haste, less speed, or something. Do you know, I've run down the stairs before now, and I've fallen flat on my face because I just went too quick. Now let's get this. Ready, ready, ready. This is an art. This. It's not as good as popping champagne, but it's pretty nice. I'm going to break the cork. <laughs> exactly the sound you don't want from a red wine bottle. Pop! Like this. Goes the weasel. <sighs> just when you want to impress everyone, that's, that's just great, isn't it? Fantastic. Awesome. Right, it's such a hallowed wine. I'll just swirl this out a little bit. I'll say I don't pull all the stops out. Excellent. Wine flavoured water. Right, Max is 219. This is drinking really nice. We're going to get some big berry. And again, 14.5%. So these are whopper wine. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's going to go down real nice with my duck in a minute. Oh, yeah, I do like a duck. It's always nice to have a bit of a duck. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, Fabulous. Lots and lots of fruit. There's definitely a bit of spice there, you know, a kick of black pepper. There's a definitely, you know, it was such a tiny, tiny suggestion of Liam Perrin's uh, Worcestershire sauce. And I'd even say there's, oh shit, oh sorry. Um, <laughs> there's even um, a suggestion of the kick of a mule in there. I'm sure I've got tissues on it. Mmm. Ooh, hang on. Oh, do you know this one's so good? I just want to rub it all over my chin. Oh, there you go, you put your fat one in. Now, I'm just wondering if I might have a tissue. Here's a tissue, look. Ta da! Now, as I say, never, never, never do wine over your piano because you are going to kill your piano just like that. Excellent. So what can we say about those? Um, they're all bloody lovely. £8, can't go wrong. If you like your Spanish wines with a little bit of oak, you're definitely going to like that one. <laughs> you want to impress everyone for a dinner party, that's good. It's it's going to appeal more to a person that likes Bordeaux, to be fair, because it's got a heck of a lot of length. There's a, a good old finish on that. And um, it's, it's definitely got a bit of reserve oak in there. So if you're not sure about that, I'd definitely go for that one. And to be fair, any night of the week, that is... I was, I really stood there thinking, should I get this, should I get this? Yes, I'm glad I got that, that is excellent. Can't go wrong there for £8. So, people often say, is red wine good for you? Well, it's chock full of antioxidants, flavonoids, polyphenols and resveratrol. I just do research, medics, they want you ill, right? So they don't want you enjoying a nice bottle of wine of an evening. So, obviously, get it down you. And if you want to know more about wine, all those sort of technical stuff, the wine cellar insider.com. That's not the cider that's got apples in it, that's insider, the wine cellar insider.com. I'll put it underneath. Absolutely fantastic website. It is, oh, I, I'm still reading through it after a year or two. What about your liver? Your liver is going to survive. Your liver's going to be beautiful. Winston Churchill, 240 units a week. Live to be 90. Don't worry about it. The important thing is love, life, laughter, wine. Grapes, do they really matter? 
Well, what do you think this stuff's made out of, right? So, another video all about grapes. Now, some wine trade secrets, whistleblower. Got a hurry. Um, what should we go for? Right, um, the label. I mean, <clears throat> if you go for a cheap I love cat's piss wine, you won't even find out what grape it is on the label. If it says red, it's from Spain. It's Tempranillo. It's um, part of a large pool of unsaleable table wine that's dressed up for the British market because people just think, oh, wow, this wine's four quid. It must be really good. Yeah, and this one's 20 quid, and it really is really good. So never, ever buy British wine, buy English. I can't be asked to tell you why. Do some research. You've basically got two types of wines. You've got your mass produced and your boutique wines, right? You can either have gunk or you can have handcrafted, you know, beautiful bespoke wines. If you want those, go for naked wines. Very few people understand in the wine trade, everyone selling wine has either got a wholesale or a retail license. You will get discounts from the guys with a wholesale license. Your supermarkets have only got a retail license. They're selling you one bottle at a time you won't get many discounts. If it says six pounds and then it says 10 pounds, it's a six pound bottle of wine that they normally sell for 10 pounds. Customers and excise on every single bottle in this country is two pound 23. Then you pay VAT, you work it out. How much do you think that costs, that costs, this costs, that costs? How much do you think the wine is inside? That's what you're getting when you spend over 10 quid. You're getting some wine. You're just getting colored dishwater if you don't spend the money. All right, dirty, dirty secret. Vineyard wine, vineyard, but the grapes are sourced elsewhere. It happens all over the world. You've got to go for a really good bespoke little, um, you know, local vineyard like Sedlskan, biodynamic, absolute integrity. In general, you know, if this says whatever, you can't be sure exactly where the grapes come from. They'll be relatively local. I mean, in, um, in Australia, your wines, your grapes are coming right up you know, a mere thousand miles in a big truck. That's fairly local in Australia. Just one little idea. All of the wine that's produced in Australia isn't as much wine as is produced in Bordeaux. That's how much French wine there is. En Primeur, best secret ever. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'll do a separate um, video. But if you wanna know why the best wine gets snaffled first, it's because I bought it a year ahead. Secret label wines, very exciting. Whole whole new video in there. You really do need to know what the label means and why they put it on and what's going on in the bottle. That is a massive trade secret. It's almost everything. It's almost more important than the grapes themselves. I can't cover it right now. Which is best, to be a wine 